we have several progressions right here. Most kids are going to be doing this one. We're just going to run up. So we're going to do a monkey up. So just hands go right here. Easy peasy. Then we're going to do a turn vault over work. And then we're going to do a ninja roll. So a side roll. That's going to be the combination that I want most kids to do. So I'll do it one more time. It'll look like this when it's cut off. We go monkey up, turn vault, ninja roll. Uh, if they need to progress to that by just doing a forward roll, that'll be fine. But most of the time when kids land right here in their turn vault and you just tell them to do a forward roll, what they're going to actually do kind of naturally is a ninja roll like that. Um, we have our wall spin right here. And what I'd love to see is for them to connect all three of these, go right from their ninja roll into their wall spin. Um, so again, all the progressions for it would be one hand right here, one hand right here, up, down, and then just jump with our feet over the other side. And then if they go right from their ninja roll straight into their wall spin, they should just naturally sort of run up, jump, and wall spin. Um, it's funny because the less kids think about it, the better they actually do on it. Um, once they wall spin, we're gonna come right here. We're going to attack here. Window escape to a cat grab. Move along. From here, we're gonna go for our forward roll. Boom. And then we're gonna run to the top of the warp wall, slide back down right back to the beginning. And, uh, the warp wall is going to move really, really fast. Um, like I'd love to get kids really zipping through, doing it all pretty quickly. Like there shouldn't be any station where they really have to stop and think about it. It's just, it's lots of, lots of quick movements. Okay, good.